Hey everybody, 47 Mark IV here, back playing Skyopolis 4. Alright, as you can see, uh, a little bit of change around the base. Started using our new cobblestone generators to make my favorite, favorite block, some stone bricks. And changed out some of the lighting to jack-o'-lanterns. This way, you know, we're just staying on the same level. It's not like we're running along and then oop, up and down and up and down. I don't know, that just kind of bothers me. But I don't quite have enough pumpkins yet to do the entire base. We are growing them like crazy, though. So, let's see. Anything else? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Over here. So, the create stuff. Check this out. So, I have tripled our water wheels. And I did look it up. And the better pattern for water was to put a block there. Source blocks here. And this way, this block is flowing. That one's flowing. And then it goes down and under. And that's how to get maximum water or maximum... I don't know, torque out of the thing. And then this over here, oh man, you know, after the episode, I got thinking about the rotational speed controller. I'm like, you are clearly trying to tell me something in the quest book. You just put it here and then just kind of left it, right? Well, you were trying to tell me how to make things super OP. So check this out. This is our millstone that we've got. You take the rotational speed controller and you can either feed it rotational energy through the cogwheel and output here or the other way around. So that's what I'm doing. I'm having the shaft turn. And then I can set the RPM here. That comes up. It goes to another large wheel. This comes here. And this just rips right out. So my triple water mill can do a maximum of 96. If I go higher, uh, we got a problem. But 96, there we go. Right there, nice and green. And this is actually probably going, yeah, it's going faster than the wooden hopper can extract it. But I'm taking all of this, I'm turning all my excess gravel into flint, and then I'm taking all my excess flint and turning it into dust, like we are cool on dust. This is actually probably going to overfill. And then if I need this other thing, we can just turn this right off here, turn that off, right? And then I can turn this dude up, oh, right there to 96, and now this guy is super, super fast. So this is a very cool way of controlling power. I'll just turn that off, turn this guy back up, up, excuse me, right there. Very, very cool. So we got it pretty OP and found out this guy, you know, can export out the bottom. So yeah, just like this. Man, I love it. I love it so much. Uh, besides that, I think this is about it for changes because, you know, the stone brickening took a little while to do. And I've mostly been just stocking up on supplies, just getting things smelted down, stuff like that. So let's go back to the quest book and let's see what our options are. Let's see, right here. So we've already done this. We need to do some rats stuff because rats will be the beginning of automation. Like they could harvest our fields for us. That would be pretty cool. I don't know exactly how to do that, but we could figure it out, right? Blocks of cheese. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I meant to go get my blocks of cheese. I've got a whole bunch sitting over here because I've been just going like crazy. Yep, there's half a stack right there. And I've got some more blocks of cheese stored in the drawers. Uh, yeah, right over here. We'll take all those. So I got a stack and a half, really. All right, let's go this way. Raw marble cheese decoration block. So this is two cheese and two... You have to be... Okay, so this is any stone. All right, we'll make one of these. We will break down a cheese block, you and you. Right, and you guys. There we go, four raw marble cheese. Um... Not my choice of stone. So we will say thank you and put this over here in our garbage chest. All right, stuff to do. Uh, and that gets me a sky buck. Thank you very much. All right, over here, garbage. Right? Trash cans can be filled with blocks to make garbage blocks. Garbage blocks in a dark area will spawn rats. Spawn in a closed area and feed it cheese until it's tamed. All right, I might be doing this afterwards, but okay, so this is cauldrons and cheese. Let's uh, let's make that. I'm going to need planks. Oh, I think this is all the planks we got. Let's get three cauldrons, right? And then break down some of our cheese. And what was this thing called? This was, oh yeah, this is garbage. Garbage can. Garbage can. So let's go garbage, right? Garbage can, right? Right there. And then we can set this dude down and learn about him. Oh, cool animation. <laughs> okay, let's uh, let's get some blocks here, right? Gravel. How do I? Oh, I just I just do this. 
I right click on it and I put in blocks and I get out garbage. Can I, uh, can I do one of those? No, it looks like it's probably this and probably hoppers. Okay, there we go. I can't really see it. It looks like this side is open. Yeah, it's just a weird texture glitch. All right, so blah, 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 blah. And I do remember seeing, uh, let's see, it was down here. It was rat spawning. So rats spawn on garbage when in darkness, right? And this is gonna be a thing. Let's just look at it. Okay, very fancy, that's garbage. All right, so it looks like I gotta make a room to get rats, right? We'll make a, uh, yeah, we'll make a dark room for that. I just wanted to get the pieces. Moving rats, tamed rats can be shift right clicked onto your head and shift left click into the area to remove them from your head. Uh, okay, all right, thanks. Cheese staff, used to make rats perform certain tasks. Right click on a rat to bind it. Right click on chests that you might want to move items from and right click on chests you might want to put items into. Right click on a rat with an empty hand to change mode to transport items. There are many different things you can make rats do. All right, so we need a cheese staff. Okay, let's get you and we'll say you and you, right? Like that, there we go, cheese staff, thank you. And that gets me four cages and a rat radius staff. So this is where I can put rats away, right? This is a rat home and this, this does something. I guess if I bind this to a rat, I can show its radius. We might stop and build a quick rat house. And then over here, rat cages. Oh, rats can be put in cages to keep them safe. A male and female rate will also breed whilst inside your cage, provided you have a breeding lantern inside. Cages can also be placed any size and any pattern. Okay. And I got, I got more cages. Can I? Can we stack them up? Oh, look at that. It's like a super cage. And what is, what is a breeding uh, lan lantern? Right? So one of you has to be a breeding lantern. Uh, do I not, do I not see? Rat breeding lantern right here. So that is a redstone lamp, string, three red dye. That's glowstone. Okay, all right. We can make one of these just to learn, right? One, two, three, four. Okay, glowstone. Got that. Oh, that was probably a quest. Blocks of dust. Yes, it was. One of those, uh, a stringy dingy, and it was some red dye. We'll make this real quick. I just want to see, because i got to teach myself this mod. I don't know a lot about rats, but okay. All right, I can hang it in there, and love particles are around. Very cool, right? Uh, okay, blocks of dust, we'll come back to that. So the only thing in rats here is creative cheese, which is instantly doing this, and I need four stacks of cheese. Right, and so if I take one stack of blocks and I do that, I'm gonna get four stacks of cheese. And which water was that? Which water? That was the weak enriching water right here. All right, so let's throw two, three, four. Oh, and it consumed the water. Oh, oh that's so such a rip. I didn't know it was gonna do that to make creative cheese, but this will help me. Oh, at least we get a reward chest. Right, this will help us in a second. All right, I'm gonna have to make more of that fluid because we're gonna need it, I think. And we got the flowers chest again. Okay, so you know, I was just messing around with the garbage and there's a rat. We got ourselves a little ratty. So let's, uh, yeah, let's do that. Uh, an unlikely alliance, you now my rat. You now my best friend rat. So I can do this, right? And then I got a rat's on my head and I can use that to carry him around places, okay? And then it was, uh, was it shift? Was it left click? Oh man, now we gotta read the tooltip here again. Was it this one? Uh, let's see. Onto your head, shift right click, shift left click into the area to remove them. All right, shift left click, shift left click. Uh, are you still on my head? You are, you're still on my head. Hmm, I wonder how this works. Oh, 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 it was shift right click again. Right, shift, re released. Oh, nope, there, just dropped him. Okay, all right, let's check out this. Oh, okay, this is freaky. All right, so this is a radius. Oh, to my rat radius. 
So I can tell him what area to be in. Okay, let's uh, yeah, let's scroll off that. And our wand, right? Staff is, oh, we got more rats. Okay, hold on, let's get our creative cheese. Dude is fast. Holy cow, rat, come back. Come back, come here, rat. You are the speediest rat I've ever seen. Am I just gonna be overflowing with rats now? Come on, eat this cheese, eat this cheese. This cheese good. This cheese tasty. Where are you? Uh, okay, all right. You know what? I'm not gonna play peekaboo with a rat. We're just gonna, oh, we're just gonna let him live. Don't you want some of this cheese? Maybe it's because I'm running, right? Okay, all right, there we go. You love me, mm, you love me, you love me so much. You love me so good. Staff is now bound to a rat, right? Okay, deposit items into oak chest from the north. Take items, set home point. Okay, all right, so we can do some stuff. Uh, Am I just gonna generate like constant amounts of rats now? Uh, come on, see the cheese, see the cheese. Don't freak out. I'm not sure if I like this. Uh, okay, yeah, let's uh, let's do some things here. I thought there was a upgrade. Oh, we didn't do it right up here. Rat upgrades. So that is just a bunch of cheese. Does an upgrade? Okay, because we can make the rats farm. I think. Let's get. Uh, let's get. Two blocks of cheese, right? Break you down, come over here, get one of these. Rat upgrade has no effects, okay? Let's read about this one. Rat upgrades can be used to make rats to various things like mining, farming, fighting, many more. Press U on a rat upgrade to view all the different types. All right, rat upgrade right here. U, no, maybe I gotta be U, oh, like this, okay. So bucket. Whitelist, armor, oh man, it can do a lot. Tick accelerator, oh, it's a tick accelerator. Oh, energy transfer, disenchanter, right? Strength, crossbow, health, uh, poison resistance, asbestos rat, chef will cook items. Oh man, crafting, okay. Flight, planter, uh, planter. No, we don't need planter, we need a harvester, right? Uh, festive, ho, 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 Merry Christmas. A miner? A demon? Where is it? Shears? Okay, we're getting closer. Uh, platter, TNT, angel. Why is the rat pushing me? Uh, lumberjack, block placer, bow. Come on, there's gotta be, there's a fisherman. A replanter, rat does not break crops when harvesting them. And I need ham seeds to do it? Maybe I could use, I was expecting a harvesting upgrade. Right, do we have a harvest? Right, right here, replanter, lumberjack, miner, mi miner, quarry, planter. Let's see, rats will use any plant seed to, and when set to the harvest command, we'll use bone meal. So that's just a couple of hoes, right? I don't know, I gotta explore this a little bit. Okay, so we're getting closer. So let's see, I figured out this thing depends on which side you're looking at it. So. I can go like this and it's, uh, let's see, right here, deposit items in chest from the south. There we go, that makes more sense. And you, my friend, staff is now bound to the rat. Deposit items, right? Just like that. Set home point rat to the chest, okay? This is now your home point. And you, oh, no, 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 okay. You are back, there we go. So that, uh, that makes it a little easier. So, current command right, is gonna be harvest. Rat will break grasses and harvest crops and place them in the container, blah, 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 right? Oh, it's a, it's, is this a boy, right? It's a boy rat, okay. Oh, here, have a piece of cheese, my rat. Oh, you're awesome, okay. So hopefully you'll do your thing, right? Let's see, so here is, staff is now bound to the rat. Oh, 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 let's, uh, let's do this. Right, so this is your radius, and I'm hoping that you're gonna go that way and do stuff. I don't know, I'm gonna keep playing. Rats is uh, kinda new. I'm gonna leave this cage over here, because I was expecting you, oh, I was expecting you to go do stuff. Okay, so I got the rat to work, and it's going a little too crazy. Right, like this thing is really, okay, just, just wander, dude, just chill out. Right, did you just eat my seeds? Because, oh, no, not in there. 
right? Harvest, gather items, transport items. Yeah, it was harvest. And you know what it's doing is it's not replanting the seeds, at least not yet. Oh! Okay, goodbye, rat. It was harvesting things, but it was even taken by jack-o'-lanterns, right? So I got to work on the radius a little bit, but okay, I get it. I had to tell it to start harvesting first. And look, it just tore my whole field right up and put everything in this chest. And the other one got caught in these bushes and died. So, yeah. All right, I'm not... Uh, I'm not down on this mod, but it's not as straightforward as I had hoped it would have been, right? All right, let's get rid of the cheese stuff. I don't know how much rat... I mean, we can do a lot of rat automation. Maybe we need it, maybe we don't. I don't know. Glowstone, okay. Let's go continue making some other stuff here. Let's go take a bunch of this stuff and go throw it in our nether water because I'm sure we're going to end up needing it for things, right? Okay, got you. Cool. We got glowstone, which is over here. We got gold, which now we're going to have to do something with. Uh, blaze powder, excuse me, and quartz dust. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I was going to do a thing, right? Solar cooker. Okay, sun's about to come up, so very cool. We'll start cooking up all of our stuff. Very nice. We got nether quartz and another sky buck. We got 44 of them. All right, so, oh, we do have to get basalt. Oh, we do have to get basalt. Okay, so that was any stone. So let's uh, let's go get some diorite. Throw you in here, right? Diorite. And very cool. Thank you. Got basic nether blocks. All right, now we know how to get those. Thank you. And we got this. All right. Uh, let's see, gold ingots. That'll be, I guess we could do it to complete the quest, right? Let's take these, and we'll throw them in one of those and start it getting smelted. I guess I'll throw that in there, start it getting smelted. Very cool. Throw my sky buck in here. All right, so what other quests? Uh, let's go this way. Yeah, 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 let's go this way. Okay, coal dust. So coal dust in this thing is sulfur and charcoal. All right, okay, we can get some of that. So let's see, we're gonna get sulfur, charcoal, let's do it a stack at a time if we're gonna do it, and we'll go use this process over here. So we're gonna dial you down, right? We'll turn you off, we'll turn you onto maximum speed, and we'll throw you and you in there. Go ahead and mix, 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 right? And I guess that's probably gonna take a minute to make this, and then what do I, what do I do with this? Do I just cook it and then that gives me coal? All right, so that is gonna complete this and then that. And I need the cold coke because we're working on, we're working towards getting, yeah, we need creosote. So we need, right here, we need coke bricks. So I gotta cook up, one, two, three, four, I need 12 bricks cooked up. Uh, is that everything? Uh, oh, it looks like it does it in a ratio, right? No, no, hold on, hold on. It was, it was you and you. Oh, it looks like it does it 16 at a time. Ah, uh, okay. All right, so let's see. I'll get, let's take this out. Let's go get, let's go get our clay, right? And let's go get, how many did I say that was? For Coke, for Coke bricks, we get nine per. So I need four bricks times three, I need 12. Okay, that's, my gut told me 12. Let's put 12 in the cooker. Right? I don't think we need the projector, but whatever. Okay, uh, and then that took out the charcoal. Let's just take everybody out. Okay, half a stack has got to be good enough. Right? That clearly completes the quest. Oh, not that one. This one. Right? And then you are make coal. Okay, so we can do that pretty easily. We'll take this out. We'll put those in. Right? We can always smelt up this other stuff later. All right, so then I'm going to need 12 more of these guys, and I'm going to need some of these blocks, right? Excuse me. Uh, let's take this, throw you there. One, two, three. That should be enough. We'll put you back. Okay, get our bricks. Bricks, bricks, bricks. And is this, was this actually the next quest we were supposed to do? Oh, this was a quest down here that we did. Uh, yeah, 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 this was Coke Bricks. Right? Okay. 
I know I'm a little scattered, but there's just so much to do. All right, we got our 27 Coke bricks. So you give me a sky buck. And man, we're running out of places for stuff. So you go right here for right now. Uh, we'll put you right in the middle, maybe? Right, nice and centered. Oh, how pretty. Uh, I guess I could be doing it this way. Right, oh, I need a hammer. Oh, I need a hammer. How do I make the hammer? One of you has to give me. Yeah, you do. Okay. A piece of glass, a lamp, two bronze. All right. All right. I was just like, oh, no, a hammer is going to take iron or something. All right. So we throw you in there. We'll go get this. Uh, I've got a lamp on me. I've got probably have a plank on me. I do. Okay. Might as well keep cooking those guys up. All right. So let's see. Projector. Right, right there. Okay, the beginning of immersive engineering. Give me my stuff. Ah, oh, yeah. And then I can do this over here, which is why I needed the coal, right? Because then I can start putting this in here, and we can start working towards creosote. Ah, oh, that's going to be good. That's going to be good. Okay, take these guys out of here. There's my gold, right? Take you out of here. We'll put the coal back in. And we'll have to put stuff away, right? Just trying to keep everybody somewhat organized. You and you. And gold dust, you come over here with regular metal dusts. And gold ingots, you go right there for right now, I guess. Charcoal, charcoal, you go right there. That doesn't make much sense. And then we got to cook those guys up. And your planks. Okay, all right. This is making sense. Get some of these. Throw these in there. Yes. Yes, yes. Uh, give me this. We've already done that. We've done this. This is going to take a minute, right? We're already 50% of the way, 60% of the way. And hopefully we'll get some creosote. So, oh, we got to collect this one. Thank you. And this allows item pipes. Uh, let's do this over here while we've got time, right? Let's take care of magma blocks. So let's see. Made in nether enriching water. You are, okay, all right. Four, four, blaze, one blaze, and four, no, one, 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 and four mossy pebbles. All right, let's see. How many mossy pebbles do we got? Let's do 16, and then we'll go get four. Uh, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And there was another ingredient. Uh, it was magma, right? Magma blocks. And it was one, two, three. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Blaze powder. Right? One, two, three, four. Okay. Nether enriching water. Right over here. We got all kinds of fluids. We throw you in. You become soul sand. I guess I could have just left them in there. Right? You and you. And bada boom, we got magma blocks. Now, can I break you down? Right? No, I can't break you down into slime balls. That's too bad. So I wonder, I wonder what we use this block for. Uh, we can mill it. Yeah, we can mill them into magma creams and magma creams Magma creams. I thought I Thought we could make slime balls. Oh, yeah with just a bucket of water So that makes that process just a little bit easier to get slime balls. Okay. All right So that's this over here and then a blaze mesh is those that's a source of light and a blaze rod expensive way using blaze meshes into weak eroding water. Oh, well, hold on, hold the phone. Let's uh, let's get a couple of these guys, right? So you're right there, and then weak eroding water. Boop boop, and we got ourselves a couple of blaze rods. Ooh, and uh, let's see, last one, and we got ourselves a reward chest and a sky buck, and so right there. Right? Oh, we got all the saplings. We got all the saplings. Nice. That's awesome. That's so cool. All right. So last thing I want to do is cold coke and treated wood planks. Right? Let's see if we've got a bucket's worth. I doubt it. We only have... Oh, no, we do have a bucket's worth. All right. Take you. Take you. Right? And there's my cold coke that I'm going to need for something later on. I'm not sure. And uh, let's see. I'm going to need... I'm going to need planks, and so let's take all of you, right? And don't you, uh-oh, uh-oh, that's what I was assuming it was. Uh, oh, 
Creosote oil. Is that is that what I have? Creosote. Creosote oil bucket ceramics. Creosote oil. Creosote oil from immersive engineering. So how do I make this creosote oil? Is this just the same thing? Let's uh let's do a live figuring it out here. That's oh, am I flammable now? Yeah, I am. All right, so if I throw those in there, oh, it uses, okay, it uses a source block, but it makes me eight. All right, so it's in-world crafting. Ooh, reward chest. It's in-world crafting and skybuck there for making creosote. So let's see, right about here, right there, we got the food chest again. Very cool, all right. So I think I'm gonna call it right there, man. That was a busy time. We had rats craziness. We got ourselves a Coke oven and we've got some uh, nether enriching water, the nether supplies, the creosote oil. Oh man, good stuff. And this process got itself all sorted out. I love it so much. So I'm gonna call it here for today. I'm 47 Mark IV and this is Skyopolis IV. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. You know, if you did, uh, hit that like button and then I'll see you in the next episode. Boy.